I just got home. The dogs are happy to see me. They've messed up all the blankets on the bed. Hello, Roxy. Hello, Roxy. Oh, I love this little dog. She's so cute. And Baron is rooting around in the blankets somewhere. Just got home, everybody's happy, and I'm about to make some tea. Several of you have asked about my teapot, so I'm gonna show you that again and tell you a little bit about it. Selfie with Vincent. Hi, Vincent. Hi. This teapot is by Breville, and it's the automatic tea maker. It has different settings here for green, black, white, herbal, oolong, and custom teas. What it's doing right now is it has a count up to 60 minutes. So after it's just made a pot of tea, it'll keep it warm for an hour. Here you can do some custom settings. You can also just boil water, and then once you pick your tea, you press the tea button, and it does everything itself. So you put the tea in like you saw, and it brings the water to the correct temperature for that tea, and then it lowers the basket. It keeps the basket there for the correct brewing time, and then it raises the basket, and it beeps when it's done and keeps it warm for an hour. Making tea has never been easier than with the Automatic Tea Maker by Breville. Linked in the description box below. pomegranate tea from that fancy Breville machine. I have found that the fruity teas have to be brewed a little longer, so I brewed this one the longest recommended time, which was five minutes. It's still pretty mild. I feel like it could be brewed longer. It's good. I mean, it, it kind of tastes like a really watered down pomegranate with some tea in it. What else can I say? And welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. I have a few unboxings for you today. I have this one, which is, you remember, I recently showed you this wrap bracelet that I got off Amazon. And I thought, well, I'll try this one first, and if I like it, I'll order a few more. So I did. I ordered this one that came as a set of three bracelets. It's in this little pouch here. It's only $10 for all three, so we'll see. There were two of the bracelets I was interested in, the other one I wasn't necessarily, but I really liked the two. So it was folded like this, and then when you open it up, there's the back, real life. And then there's, there's the front. By the way, my friend Roxy here is joining me. She jumped up in the chair, she wants to be closer. Not to me, I'm sure. I think you can guess what she wants to be closer to. Okay, here's the first one. This is the one I wasn't as interested in because it looks so similar to the one I already have. It has a little bit of a smell. I remember when I was looking at some of these bracelets that, oh, and it's kind of stuck together there. I think it is supposed to be separated. There's some glue. You can see where they're cut on the back, but it's kind of stuck together. Let me pull these apart. I'm sure it's the glue that I'm smelling. And it's not a really strong smell, it's just when you get up to it. Most of us don't smell our wrists all the time, eh? So there's the bracelet, let me put it on. It does have a magnetic closure, you see, which is nice. And it fits just like that, that looks good. But I already have that other one that's so similar, I think I'll put this one in a giveaway. I know I'd mentioned, it's a good strong magnet. I know I'd mentioned um, giveaways in a previous video and I haven't done any yet and the reason for that is that I'm waiting for some other things to come because the giveaways, most of them are gonna be several items together and I'm waiting on a few things still. So that's why it hasn't happened yet. 
So yeah, I think I'll put that in a giveaway and someone will really enjoy it, I hope. Okay, now let's look at this one. This is three different strands. It has this little iridescent cord and then this one with the rhinestones and then the snakeskin kind of cord with the little silver or gray dressy stone in the center. And all three of these are magnetic, not just the first one. So there's that one. This piece looks a little weird, a little wonky. I do like the other two strands though. I think I'm just okay with that one. The other one that I'm giving away was better, I think. I'm having to pry apart all three of these. The strings are not really, uh, they're all kind of glued together at least a little bit. Here's the last one. I thought that was cute with the little pearls on it. Okay, in person, this one looks better than the last one. The strands, let me move my other bracelets out of the way. The strands are kind of wonky and all over the place, but I think that looks good on this particular one. It looks natural. Like they move around and with the pearls, it's sort of like seaweed or something moving. I like that. I'll keep this on for the rest of the video. This next one I'm really excited about. I came across this item, a different item recently. It's actually brought to my attention by a friend of mine. It's packaged very well. It's a coach item. I went to the coach store online and the outlet and couldn't find these, so I resorted to looking at third-party sites like eBay and Tradesy and Poshmark. And I actually got this off Poshmark and it was my very first Poshmark purchase, if you can believe it. I've just never shopped there. I've always found Poshmark a little bit confusing to use. I don't know, I just haven't spent any time trying to learn about it. So, this little tiny piece from Coach is this it's the mini cassidy little coin purse wallet thing and let me show you real quick and then show you why i got it so it's got this little well first of all this one is like a black not quite a saffiano it's got a grain texture to it. it has this turn lock that says coach and that probably says new york yes it does the turn lock is in gold but these little rivets are in silver i thought that was a cool feature that it mixes metals like that what i really love about this what really sold me on it is all the pockets in it you'd think a tiny little thing like this doesn't have pockets but it has a pocket in the back here and then when you open it up and take out the tissue paper that they very kindly stuffed it with. It even has a little pocket right here and then the big pocket and then it has this chain. There's still a price tag on it. Interesting. It says the original price, it's the original coach tag on it. The original price was $178 and I got it for 50 I think. You can hang it like a bag charm use it as a clip there. And then it has this little coach tag there. And here's why I bought this. This Chanel card coin case thing is my favorite wallet. I love it. This mini Cassidy from Coach is very similar in size and in functionality. Like they both have a front flap. Have to do a turn lock on that one. So they both have the front flap. Oh, I have stuff in here. I probably shouldn't show much of that. Hold on, let me take it out. Okay, so they both have that flap opening. They both have a front pocket to put cards and then they both have a large interior. And let me show you. The interior on this mini Cassidy is a like a micro suede and a burgundy, which is very pretty and very Chanel. The Cassidy beats the Chanel piece in a couple of ways price obviously but also the chanel doesn't have the back pocket and the cassidy over here is wider so it will end up holding more now it is more narrow on the top and the chanel piece is gusseted so it gets wider but you can't fill it that much it's wider so you can flip through your cards and cash and whatever you have in here and then of course also the cassidy you can hang like a bag charm and the Chanel wallet you can't. But I'd pretty much talk myself out of this mini Cassidy even though I found it for such a great price because I was thinking, well, it's so similar to the Chanel. Why do I really need it? It seems redundant. The reason I think I need it, the reason I talked myself into buying it is because I use the Chanel one all the time. And though it has held up very well, I think I've had it a year, a little more than a year, it's going to start showing some wear at some point. So I do think it's a good idea to give it a rest and use the coach wallet from time to time. And I like that it's multifunctional, that I can hang it as decoration from some bags and I can use it 
it, it's very functional like the Chanel wallet would be. Let me just put a few cards in it to see how much more comfortable it is at fitting things than the Chanel. Well, this is interesting. Okay, I'm trying to put my Costco card in here. My Costco card won't fit in that front pocket at all. Um, it also will not fit in the back pocket. That's strange, disappointing. It looks like it would fit a card just fine, but I can't get it down because the stitching is in the way. It just won't fit. I can, though, get cards into that big center compartment. So I have several cards in there. It's not easy to flip through them, but you could pull them out a little bit and then flip through. Not a big deal. You could keep I have a few coins here. You could keep a few coins in that front pocket. Find those pretty easily. You could slip a couple of keys in there. You could put receipts. There are all kinds of different uses besides cards for those two pockets. And I'm glad that they do fit in the big pocket because I got it to be a substitute for the Chanel wallet. It's a great little piece. I'm excited to have it. I think it's super cute and it'll be super cute hanging from bags. I'm glad that I can wear it with both the gold and the silver metal. I did see some other ones that just had gold all over them, gold rivets on black, but I really liked the mixed metals. And yeah, just think the whole thing is, is super versatile. Glad I bought it. I'm excited to use it now. Oh, Roxy, do you know what time it is? It's advent calendar time. You don't look excited. You'll get excited when I say cookie. Oh, are you ready for a cookie? You ready? Yes. You're going to get a cookie. Mwah. But you're going to get the small half of the cookie. You will. I'm so sorry. Roxy, let's do the tea calendar first. Number 10. Number 10. Just kidding. I won't do that again. There's a coupon, free tea of the day. Come in for a cup on us, no purchase required. There's not even a barcode, how do they redeem this? Well, I don't think I have a David's tea in Houston, so I don't know what to do with that. Ooh, Candy Cane Crush. Candy Cane Crush, Roxy. I love peppermint. Some of you said you don't. That's okay, you don't have to drink it. Minty Holiday Classic. It's a black tea with white chocolate, peppermint candy, snowflake candies, and a bunch of other stuff. Contains milk and soy. Delicious, I'm looking forward to that. Hey, Roxy, let's do Sugarfina next. Number 10. This one doesn't sound too good to me. Cinnamon cereal, covered in cream, it's so hard to read. Ah, here we go. Covered in creamy milk chocolate, these crunchy cereal candies are a breakfast lover's dream. Probably not for me. Hey Roxy, let's do the do-it-yourself advent calendar next. Hey Roxy, Roxy, are you ready? You wanna do the do-it-yourself advent calendar? Well, the gift for day 10 is under here in this little pouch. Apparently it's the day of the bracelets. I got these at Francesca's too. Ah, that looks good together. Look at me being all stylish. Hey Roxy and Baron, are you ready for a cookie? Are you ready? Let's open the cookie advent calendar. Door number 10. Well, I just finished filming the whole video and then realized that I didn't show you my bag of the day. So I just turned one light back on. Sorry if it looks weird. But today I carried my Longchamp Le Pliage in a large size, large, the large size in the light gray. It's one of my birthday gifts to myself. And I carried this because it went well with my outfit, but also because it was raining all day today. And that's one of my all weather bags. Very handy, those Longchamp Le Pliage larges.